It is up to the woman to decide uh, either she wants to keep her babies or not, okay? It is not anyone's right to tell her what to do with her body. If what makes you a woman is being stripped away by a Roe v. Wade uh, overturn, then uh, we need to rethink uh, our human right uh, laws because as a woman we are human too so we should be able to make those decisions okay and uh, it should be solely up to us you cannot dictate what what i do with my body you cannot dictate who i sleep with you cannot dictate whatever pregnancy that comes out of that relationship you shouldn't be able to make those decisions because i if i keep those babies their responsibility is on me not on you those decision makers okay so uh it just doesn't make sense to me i am appalled and I, I i don't i don't even know um i feel compelled to make this 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 video because it's just is is unimaginable i i can't i can't think straight you know since they overturned this this, this ruling it, it's just like come on <laughs> i am a woman i'm in this body of embodiment of a woman but i cannot make any decisions that comes out of it the so most powerful thing that a woman can can decide upon is uh, what she wants to do with with her pregnancy and sometimes it's not even up to her sometimes it's medically challenging for her to carry on with whatever pregnancy she she has so sometimes the decision is not even up to her. The decision is up to the medical doctors because if she doesn't uh, get rid of whatever it is, she may die. Okay? It could be for her health. So every decision a woman makes, good or bad, you shouldn't be in the place to tell us what to do because we don't tell you what you do with your winner, okay? I know there are men on our side, but I'm just trying to, to, to speak to the woman. I, I want to let them know that you guys are not alone and uh, uh, every woman out there should make a video or should make their voice heard because uh, this is this is a, a, a big decision and it's going it's going to have big consequences okay today uh, they may not see it but a lot of people may may not be part of us you know in the next few months or years down the road because they are going to take the uh, illegal way of, of those actions and uh, it could be detrimental to their life and their family members so um, i am <laughs> look usually i talk a lot but you guys as you guys have noticed i'm struggling to find words to express my uh, disappointment i'm very disappointed and this is big as a mother of two daughters i have nieces this is not a decision you sit around and, and laugh around with just because oh maybe you think it doesn't apply to you it applies to every woman in america if you're a woman in america it's going to apply to you one way or the other you might have extended family members that could be in the critical situations whereby uh if roe v wade was in reverse they could have been alive or they, they their life may have been saved you may never know okay there are some very difficult difficult pregnancies out there that women go through and uh, you guys are not even in the place to understand you know uh, uh, the, the hardest decision this woman have to make so it should be solely to, up to them we lay down we had the babies or we don't even know we are pregnant and uh, those decisions are very intimate decisions that I believe no one should put their dirty mouth into it should only be up to the woman nobody else she is going because she is the carrier of, of that baby. she is she she is the sole carrier the baby can only survive in her right so she should make that decision good or bad it's pro choice i'm pro choice and uh, it's up to you do what you want to do i'm not here to judge you because i've been working my heart in your shoes and i don't want to know why you're making those decisions but i am here to advocate that you should be able to make those fundamental decisions because that's what makes you a woman okay it's like you're giving me a credit card with a bunch of money and you say you know this card is for you but do not spend the money just carry around the empty card i mean sorry the, the card just just for sure so i feel like a woman are empty vessel right now because it's like okay i don't have any identity I, I cannot decide what I should do with my body. Should we, I mean, w w what is the message these people are trying to send? What is the message is the uh, Supreme Court trying to send to us? What are you trying to do? 
You're trying to, uh, the birth rate uh, in the past few years have been declining. You want to bring it up? What do you have in place for women? What do you have in place for those women who have to work? Even though they have kids, they have to work to survive and to feed those kids. What decision do you have in place? Because it seems as if you can tell us what to do with our body, but you don't have a, a, a staff in place to help those women. What do you have in place to adequately give those women support? Do you know the price of a, a daycare in this country? No, you don't know. Of course you won't know because you're sitting in, in, in your uh, 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 courtroom making decisions to, of women that you don't even know. You have never walked in their shoes. You are just there living the bubble and making very detrimental and huge decisions in the lives of multiple women. Okay? I know there are some women out there that are very happy of this reversal fine i am speaking to the women that are concerned as me as a mother or as a woman i am very concerned and this thing scares me if if we, we don't even have that fundamental and biological right this is our biological right because biologically we carry those babies so are you the one who's going to carry it no men don't carry babies they know how to make them, but they don't carry them. <laughs> LOL. Yeah, they might have a strong waist, but they don't know how to carry them or even how to give birth to them. So what are we saying? You want to overpopulate, not overpopulate. You want to increase the birth rate of this country, but you don't have great system in place to help women in need. You don't. Let's be honest. You don't. Because if you want to go to those governmental assisting aid I don't know how it works, but I know those those aid are terrible. They are not, I mean, good enough for women to want to have babies. There is a system in place, even the workplace, to encourage women to have babies, okay? When I was breastfeeding and working, I, there wasn't a place for me to go and pump my breast. I have to go in my car and uh, plug plug my uh, what a breast pump to the car so i can be able to have privacy in that car during my break not i don't there, there isn't any break in place for women who are pump, who are uh, breastfeeding their babies there isn't a break that says okay this is a breastfeeding pump uh, uh area go ahead and pump your your breast when you are breastfeeding no you need to find that corner in your car because that's the only place you have privacy at the workplace, there isn't any design like that. So I feel as if the society is not designed for women to be nurturers or to be to rest in their femininity adequately. There isn't. The society doesn't provide that for women. Everything is capitalism. Go ahead and work. Increase the economy. How about us? Because we carry on, uh, uh, how you call it, civilization. I had to go in my car to pump my breast. And you know how frequent I have to pump my breast? I mean, how many breaks do I have at work to pump my breast? So nothing is designed for women to be women or to, to want to have multiple children. No, it's not in, in the curriculum of this uh, system. There isn't a system in place that encouraging. So if you're wondering why the birth rate is declining, this is one of many examples. Okay? The economy, I mean, <laughs> life is very difficult in America, okay? Life is very difficult. Making a living is not a joke. So having babies, you, sometimes if you don't have the luxury to stay at home, you have to work and you don't have adequate system for daycare. And why not? Or you can't afford it because everything is super expensive. What are you going to do? Have multiple babies? I don't think so. <laughs> People are getting smarter and women are getting smarter. They are making very smart decisions. Hey, I don't think I should have babies now until I'm financially stable. I know you're going to have the baby with either you have a husband or not. It's up to the woman to decide when and why, if she wants to have the babies or not. It's up to her. I'm pro choice. Do what you want to do whenever you want to do it. How about that? Whenever you want to do it, go for it. That's your life, your decision. It shouldn't be any old man with beard. Look, I'm, I'm not saying it against old people, okay? But those justice members, those Supreme Justice members, look at their age. Do you think they are your age or at an age where a woman gets pregnant? I mean, usually it's in the youth, it's when they're young. So you are old 
and you're making decisions for this young generation it just it doesn't make sense it's not just any decision you are making major life-changing decision you guys are not foreseeing the dangers that is going to come with this decision it's very it's, it is a very detrimental and dangerous decision that was made a few days ago i'm telling you guys and i, I i'm just here to express my i don't know deep, <laughs> deep disappointment deep disappointment this is one of the difficult video i have to make because i am out of words guys i am out of words i don't know damn this is sad this is a sad day look if you guys have any I'll, I'll be looking around for any protests in my area you know pro-choice protests and why not so i can go and support these women because look yeah yeah it, it is a must our voices need to be heard if there's any way i can support bring my support to this I, i'm ready man i'm ready i'm all in i am a woman no one can take my rights from me we are women and we should not allow anybody to take our rights this is our biological and fundamental right what happened to the human right lol come on you guys are telling me that okay even though you guys look down upon africa in africa women have a right to uh, carry on and decide what they want to do with their body but in america the so-called first world you guys are telling us that we the women that live here we cannot make those decisions it's up to the states and it's up to the supreme court they decide for us wow when we were banging uh, in those four walls were you guys there to decide which position we should take maybe you should have been there and tell us oh this position is going to prevent you from getting pregnant isn't it fools this is ridiculous huh damn where are you women out there I'm just here to say we shall survive this, okay? And we will never give up because we were born what? Survivors. Thank you.